Welcome back students hope you all are doing well keeping sound health this is your chendu in this video i am going to cover certain important questions for the course data structures i mean ds for computer science engineering information technology as well as artificial and machine learning students the course is all about the problems i mean the programs as well as the algorithms data structures course i am going to go under j into h for r18 regulation as the paper pattern for this semester is all about part a as well as part b if you haven't got through this i have uploaded a video on the question paper pattern for 21 as well as uh, 22 and 11 and 12 supply uh, the, the question paper pattern is posted in my channel please go through it dear students the question paper pattern is all about part a as well as part b part a consists of 10 questions from 1 a to j each from each unit you are going to get two questions of five mark and the long questions are of odd choice option i am going to let you know while working out the uh, the important concepts for this course you need to be thorough with all the concepts and do not skip my uh, video i am going to give you certain important tips as well as i am going to let you know which units you are supposed to prepare the first and foremost unit i have taken into consideration is unit 5 it's because you are going to take your mid to within a week the first and the foremost question i can give you is the standard tries versus compressed tries later the pattern matching algorithm may be the short question here like what are the different pattern make matching algorithms you need to write all the three types of algorithms and give a brief description about them and not more is path algorithm path algorithm is said to be one of the top most and one shot question which may occur in the question paper like 10a as well as 10b may be covered from this part dear students and the later i am going to work out for you the 11th question that is of brute force algorithm or boyer mohr algorithm from these two algorithms you are going to get one question for sure that may be 11a dear students define the term like suffix tries may be the short question and what are the different types of tries may be the b question here and the tree versus tries may be also one of the short question the short question for this is 1 a to j i mean i and j are the short questions which is for 2 and 3 mark and 11 ab is for 5 5 mark and i mean 10 ab is for 5 5 mark and 11 ab is for 5 5 mark you are supposed to either write either 10 ab or 11 ab only dear students in between you'll be having an or option you are not supposed to write 10a or 11b only one answer will be valid that may be 10a or 11b be clear that the option or is in between 10 and 11 either you need to furnish completely 10 ab or 11 ab the students to score out of out mark later uh, you have certain programs also here you are supposed to work out them later i have taken into consideration the unit 4 the unit 4 doesn't have any programs here this is one of the easiest unit i am going to give you certain plans how to work out and which unit to be prepared the end of this video the graph transversal methods as well as external sorting along with model is said to be a top most question the question number is 9 here and the representation of graphs as well as different sorting methods and compare them maybe the 9a as well as 9b there are no separate short questions from this unit you are supposed to be thorough with all the concepts which i am highlighting so that you could able to write even the short questions dear students define the term match sort and explain it with an example and the construction of heap sort and the graph implementation methods this may be the part of 8a as well as 8b dear students the match sort is said to be the top most question and the graph implementation methods as heap sort may be coming in the short question this time later one of the easiest unit a student an average student who is not good at the data structures can go with the third unit it is all about the theory and you can work out very easily as you are taking your mid term please do concentrate first on unit 3 later unit 4 the implementation and construction of bst by uh, binary trees as well as their operations what are the different types of operations like searching insertion deletion related to bst and the programs and the uh, theory all about that red black tree versus play tree and the properties of play tree is said to be the short question bfs versus dfs and the differences may said to be the 7a as well as 7b dear students 
later the searching as well as insertion for avl tree is also said to be the topmost question that may occur in 6a in the question paper height of an avl tree define the term maybe the short question the construction as well as the operations of avl tree is said to be the topmost question which may occur in 6b this time dear students do not expect direct 10 mark question until and unless the question the answer is too lengthy in its structure or you may be getting the five five split here part b consists of 10 questions of which every year you are going to get two questions and each question carries 10 marks dear students the later the second unit is all about the programs it is about the dictionaries the linear versus skip list representations air operation related to the operation you need to work out the insertion deletion and searching and the programs related to is said to be the topmost and gunshot question which may be getting direct 10 marks sometimes later linear probing versus quadratic quadratic probing is a short question double as well as extendable hashing is also said to be the long question which may occur in b and their advantages is said to be the topmost question in the short question and the programs related to each and every concept you are supposed to work out without programs and the algorithms from certain units you are unable to clear this course Hash functions is said to be the topmost question which may occur in 4A and what are the different methods of collusion revolution may be the 4B. Define the term rehashing and the open addressing may be the short question here dear students. As till now you have taken the COVID pattern but here question paper pattern is bit differ and the marking is of short questions as well as long questions and the timing is of all about 3 hours only dear students. I have uploaded a video on how to take a theory paper in my channel please go through it and watch it and even a mathematics paper too later the unit one is all about theory and the problems here without the fundamental concepts of the data structures you cannot work out the unit one and the unit two would define uh, what are the different basic data structures maybe the short question and it is all linked with array as well as link representations of stacks related to queue operation and stack operation related to queue and stack you are going to get in second as well as third question dear students link list operations and the implementation of the array and link representation along with the problem and the example related to queue operations as well as stack operations Single link list is said to be the topmost question and the double link as well as circular link list along with the problem is said to be the very very important question which may occur in 2A as well as 2B. Define the term Q and along with its applications work out the differences between Q as well as stack operations and what list out the stack applications is said to be the short question. What are the abstract data types may be also short questions. Sometimes the program related to C program or the, with the different expression they may be asking you to write the infix and postfix expression for a given relation and you are supposed to work out even the C program. A student taking this course need to have base strong fundamentals related to the course PPS which have taken in the first year. Dear students, these all are the very important and gunshot questions. You are not supposed to skip any part of the unit so that you could able to work out very neatly all the answers in a given stipulated time. A student looking to just pass need to work out first the unit 3 and later 4 and later 5. A student supposed to working out to work out the all the concepts and score a maximum marks need to work even unit 1 as well as unit 2. A student need to pass this course need to work 3 units for sure without skipping any part from the video which I have highlighted like 3, 4 and 5. I hope you are liking my videos and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do it immediately by pressing a bell icon you are going to receive the latest notifications. Good luck dear students. If you are looking for any other course, do not forget to comment and like and share and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.